Olympia flirts. Uh, it's nice to uh, be back. I do enjoy coming over here. I don't think America has a higher percentage of stupid people than the rest of the world. I just think the problem is that your stupid people are confident. <laughs> like in the rest of the world, idiots have shame. Like they're idiots and then we throw stones at them and then they leave and they learn and they come back and they're better. Whereas over here, they say, you say something stupid and people are just like, yeah, run for president. Why wouldn't you have to? <laughs> that, don't clap. That might be about Hillary. You don't know where I stand. You... <laughs> Tough choice for you guys this year. Yeah. The idiot that is Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, the NASCAR jacket of politicians. Uh... <laughs> Let it sink in. Uh, <laughs> politics aren't any better in the UK. We have uh, a prime minister that's trying to get rid of uh, free health care. I understand that you don't have free health care here. What I don't understand, though, is if you're a woman and you pay top end shelf, high quality uh, health insurance, do you get tampons for free whenever you go to the doctors? <laughs> no. Why? How is that not medical? You're bleeding. Sounds medical. Like, I'm not a doctor, but if I was and you came into my office bleeding out of anywhere, I'd give it a go. <laughs> and by I'm giving it a go, I mean like fixing it, not like, <laughs> while you're lubricated, none of that. None. I said none of that. Listen to the punchlines before you write your blog. <laughs> Guess worse in the UK, not only are tampons not free, even though we have free health care, condoms, free. If you go to the doctors, tampons, no. So condoms, just on the off chance that you're ever going to get the opportunity to use them. Yet women have to pay for something that is absolutely, definitely going to happen. In fact, the only time it's not going to happen is if I don't use the condoms that I just got for free. <laughs> and then we have much bigger problems on our hands. It gets worse in the UK. Not only are tampons not free, uh, they're taxed as luxury items. I'm not kidding. Luxury items. Luxury? Have you ever met a woman on her period? <laughs> That's not the first word that pops into my head. <laughs> I've never looked to the queen and been like, man, I bet she's got loads of tampons. <laughs> luxury, like, I laughed when I found out they were luxury items, not because it's funny, but just because you can tell that it was a decision that was made when there wasn't a woman within a 20-mile vicinity. <laughs> that was a room full of uh, middle-aged white men going, oh, this'll annoy them. <laughs> and if we time it right, it'll annoy them all at once. <laughs> it's the same in uh, California, tampons, and if you know this, taxed as luxury items here. Luxury, like, if, I've, right. I've never seen a woman put a tampon in. But I can't imagine there's much luxury to it. Like, whenever I picture a woman putting a tampon in, and I don't, I don't do that. But if I were to, I, like, I don't think she's going, I'm a princess. Like, that's not, that's not the song I imagine you sing. While it, maybe it is, it is now, it's a very catchy jingle, I do apologise. <laughs> but it was taken to Parliament in the UK to try and get rid of this luxury tax on tampons, and it's still in place, and because people believe that they are luxury items. Here's the test to find out whether tampons are a luxury item. Buy one for your girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> Nothing else. Let's see how thrilled she is. <laughs> so, what did you get me? Well, I know we said we wouldn't spoil each other this year, but, uh... I got that promotion at work, so I thought I'd treat you to a luxury item. Ooh, wonder what it could be. I'm going to cut your throat. I'm going to cut your throat and then clean it up with these. Extra absorbent. Oh, we'll see. I'm going to gone girl this. We'll see how this goes. I think ultimately the main reason why tampons are not free across the uh, globe for everyone is because men don't get periods. That's essentially it. If men got periods, different world. I cannot speak on behalf of all men in this room, but I will comfortably speak on behalf of myself and tell you that if I were to get anything like a period, don't think I'd handle that very gracefully. 
I don't handle the flu well, let alone waking up one morning just to find my best friend dying in my arms. <laughs> yeah, women, like goddamn champions. You wake up, you look down, you're mortally wounded. Ah, I got shopping to do, and you live your life. No, if men got periods, we get the week off work. Fully paid, you have, can't go to work, you're dying, that's fair. There would be publicly funded mountaintop retreats where we'd go to. You go up there with all your friends because you've all synced, you're not idiots. It's just you up in a mountain watching die hard movies, drinking beer, high-fiving your friends. It's been a tough one this month. It really has, it really has. <laughs> Technology would get involved. To get to the point where you'd be walking through the supermarket with your partner, you'd feel your period, you know, stirring, or what, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the sign is. Like, a klaxon blares, dogs start following you. I don't know, whatever the signal is. You feel it coming on. You turn to your partner and you go, I have to leave, I'm dying. Press a button, a helicopter with GPS, track your location, fly in, swoop your way to the mountains and every other man in that supermarket would be like, God speed, soldier. <laughs> we lost a brave man today. Uh, you guys have been great, have a nice thoughts. Thank you very much, good night. Nice job. Very nice job. That was great. Daniel Flo!